Hello everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com and danjohn.net. Hey, we have a question about how to do the bent press. Well, it's going to be real hard to just teach the bent press, you know, on a video. I've seen people try it. It always looks like a, here, do what I'm doing and you miss everything. But I want to talk about a couple exercises to get you ready, and then I'll show you how I teach it. Uh, and the one nice thing, if you're following along at home, you're going to need to stick in some kind of weight. Let's start with what I consider the most important exercise to start with. Put a broomstick behind your neck, or like a PVC pipe. And we're, we call this drill the windmill stick. The windmill stick. I have it now in the T position. What I'm going to do first, before I even start, bring my feet together. Bring my feet together. And I'm going to stick my butt back until I feel my hamstring stretch. Oh, I feel my hamstring stretch. Now I'm going to stand up. I learned something while I was in Egypt. In those statues of the Pharaoh, if the Pharaoh had one foot ahead like this, it was a living Pharaoh when the statue was made. If the Pharaoh's feet were together, it was a dead Pharaoh. So what I'm going to do in this example is I want you to move your left foot forward just a little bit. First thing like that, find the hinge again. And once I feel that hinge, I feel that hinge, what I'm going to do now is take my left elbow and stuff it inside my left knee. This is the windmill. It's a hinge, hinge with rotation. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close my right eye and look for the ceiling on my left. You guys can see the T-spine issues I have today. And now I have a pack. That's the windmill stick. I'll do it this way and go to the right. Otherwise, I'll walk in circles all day. T-position, dead feral feet, butt back, stand tall, right foot slightly ahead, hinge back, right elbow goes inside right knee, Close my left eye and look for the ceiling and come back up. Closing the on eye, closing this eye, makes me completely turn my head. So that is the windmill stick. But wait, folks, there's more. I'll neatly put that down. Now, let's move to the way I teach the preliminary uh, windmill. So I have a very light weight here for demonstration purposes. So my weight is over my head. Okay, are you with me? Since the right arm has the bell, biceps on ears, and keep those shoulders down, not up, biceps on ears. I'm gonna go to the dead pharaoh position first, Left. I'm going to take my left hand and skin on skin, I'm going to slide it, and when I get down low, I'll bend, I'll bend my left elbow and hold it in place. Now we look, and there it is, the windmill. The windmill is a hinge with rotation. Now, let's move to how I teach the bent press using the same principles. Well. The first thing is I want you to get into the kneeling windmill position that's the, in kind of the middle of the Turkish getup. My left hand, my left knee, and my left foot are all in a straight line, and my right foot is off at a 90 degree angle. I wouldn't mind 90-90 positions with your legs, and if all I do is raise my hand like this, turn my neck, raise my hand, I can swoop down and stretch. Hey, well, folks, that's a very good little stretch. Uh, we do that all the time. When we do this movement in our gym, we call that pumping. That's a little different than pumping iron. Like uh, <laughs> We're pumping our synactive fluids through the greater visceral, you know, we just kind of stretch. So now let me show you the two uh, bed press uh, exercises I use for preparation. Uh, you'll notice I have a very little load here because these are gonna be a little bit different. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the bell overhead, 
Touch here, lean back, and come down. Now this by itself is a nice little exercise. Push back, come down. Push back, come up, and right here we have the standard windmill. So the half kneeling windmill by itself is a nice little exercise. Let's now show you exercise number two. So again, bells above, and this time, this is an exercise I like to do in Turkish get-ups a lot. Very simply, it's this press right here. Ready? I'm going to press. And you'll notice the bell doesn't go very far. The bell doesn't go very far because the bell is running into my lap. But this is basically where we want to get used to in the bent press. Now, for its cousin, I'm just going to show you without load. The next exercise is this. Watch my left arm. Now, one thing you should notice is left foot, left knee, and left hand are in a straight line with the knee bisecting that line halfway in the middle. If it doesn't, you probably can't do this variation. This time, basically, I'm going to do a skull crusher. And when I combine variation number two, with variation number three, when I so it's gonna be bend and straighten. Bend, straight, bend, straight. And that looks terrible because I didn't warm up before I started this. The windmill stick, the windmill, and these half kneeling variations are the exercises I have people do before we build up to the bed press itself. And you know what? These have value in your general mobility, but please remember, it's a hinge with rotation, but it's a hinge first. The windmill is a hinge with rotation. These exercises are hinges with rotation. If you get lost, come back to this exercise here, where you sit, come up, sit, come down. All right? I hope that helped. Thanks so much.